All right, guys, we're here out here today. We're here out here, and we got a box. Baseball is never my strong sport. Box opening, however, is my strong sport. So be careful when you kick the box to make sure you don't wreck everything inside, right? Yeah! Oh, these are rad. The original plastic skateboard, Penny Skateboards Push In Plastic. That's sick. Actually, it's cool because inside the box is two other boxes. I know, you guys are shocked. I was shocked as well. So the smaller box just got a little bit ripped because I kicked it. So let's, I shouldn't have kicked the box. When you guys open your box, don't kick it. Da -da 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 -da. Since forever. So Penny Skateboards hooked me up with a couple of these decks. I was gonna make a video and talking about them. The thing about Penny is like, these are the original skateboards. I don't know that they're the very first skateboards that were ever made. I think the very first skateboard that was ever made was probably like a two by four with some, what do you call it, roller skates? Yeah, like literally a two by four with roller skates pinned on the bottom. But then the day after that was invented, this was invented. Please don't look that up online because I'm sure that's not true. But basically, yeah, this, this is like it says literally since forever. That's how, how long ago these were invented. So a long, long time ago, people made plastic skateboards. And these are like replicas of those. Basically what I'm trying to get at here is a lot of people learn to skate on these. Their very first skateboard is this. Might be this one or might be the bigger one. I'm gonna actually open both of these so you guys can see the difference. So we have the penny board and then we have the nickel board. See, penny is one cent and nickel, that's five cents, right? Math crew. Boom, so this is the nickel, the penny nickel. And these boards came all the way from Australia. Just wanted you guys to know that. They came in a bag, in a box, in another box. So the nickel's really sick. It's straight black which I like. So we got a black and a purple. You guys can see the obvious difference in size right there. 22 inch, 27 inch. So since this video is for brand new skaters who have literally never skated before, cause that's where a lot of people begin to learn is on a board like this. I'm gonna go through all the various different parts and just explain to you what they are and what they're called and what they do. I guess the main thing is just the board itself. You have this plastic board on top it has a very specific shape. This is the tail, this is the nose. The tail is, goes in the back and you roll around, you push down on this to lift it up and you cruise around like that. So the rest of the parts are the trucks. The main piece right here that is, it's just a, basically a chunk of metal that attaches the wheels to the board, right? And they're attached by what's called hardware. The hardware is just literally this, this screw that goes in. On that side, you can see that. Another important thing to understand about the trucks is you have these things right here. They're called bushings. They're basically just made of hard urethane, hard or soft, soft or hard, or whatever you wanna call it. But basically the thing that's important about this is if you take this bolt right here and tighten it, this is gonna tighten down harder and that's gonna make your trucks tighter. That means there's less give like this. So if you're standing on your board and you're going, whoa, and you're wobbling all over the place, you wanna tighten your trucks and then your board's gonna be more solid and it's gonna give less from side to side. Basically, if there's one thing you're gonna understand about the truck, that's what you need to understand. Tighten that, this is gonna get tighter. Loosen that, this is gonna get looser. So if you're like, oh, I'm having trouble turning, or you wanna be able to turn faster or sharper or harder, just loosen that guy up and you're gonna be able to turn faster. That's the board, that's the hardware, that's the trucks. Now into what's inside this wheel that makes it spin, bearings. So these are Penny Skateboard's ABEX 7 bearings. And yeah, they're just super smooth, super fast bearings. Now the wheels on a Penny Skateboard are softer than just your average regular skateboard wheel and that's to give you like a smoother, faster ride. You'll notice that this board, compared to like a regular skateboard that you'd be doing tricks on, is a lot smoother. It definitely is a very nice cruise. So that's the 27 inch. The 22 inch you'll, you'll notice has all of the same parts. It has a truck, has the bushings, has the hardware, bearings, wheels. It's really quite similar. The only thing that's different, you'll see the size. You see the trucks on the smaller board are actually 
less wide than the trucks on the wider board just to accommodate the size of the board, right? It basically just comes down to personal preference. If you want to ride a smaller board, ride the smaller board. If you want to ride the bigger board, ride the bigger board. Obviously, if you're bigger and your feet are big, it's going to be a little easier for you to ride this. If you're smaller and your feet are small, it's going to be easier for you to ride this because it's wider still, right? You understand? But yeah, a lot of like smaller, younger people would probably have a little more fun on this. It's just a little bit more maneuverable. But again, it's, it's gonna come down to personal preference. All right, so since this is a video for people who have never really skateboarded before, a beginner's video on starting to skateboard, the first thing that you need to know about skateboarding is which way you're gonna ride. You might be wondering, what does that mean? I'm also wondering, what does that mean? Well, it actually is quite simple. It means either you're gonna ride with your right foot forward or your left foot forward. So if you ride with your right foot forward, that's called goofy. My natural stance, the way that it's more comfortable for me to skateboard is with my right foot in the front. So just like that. So that's called goofy because that means I'm goofy in both character and skateboarding stance. Now, if you ride with your left foot forward like that, and then you push off like that, that's called regular. So you're either going to be regular or goofy. And when you've never skateboarded before, you might be trying to figure out, well, how would I know? And here's, in my opinion, the best way to figure out how you would know. If you were to run and slide on anything with your feet, you're naturally gonna put one foot forward. So when I was growing up, I grew up in Montana, so we would be like, there's some ice, and we would run, and I would slide with one foot. And I would just naturally put my right foot forward. So I would already know because of that, oh, I'm right foot forward. That's the more comfortable way for me to ride. So you guys can either simulate that situation, take a running start and pretend like you're gonna slide and see which foot forward feels best for you. If it's your left foot forward, well, then you're regular. If it's your right foot forward, well, then you're goofy. Super, super simple, keep it very simple and that's all there is to it. So once you know which foot you're gonna put forward, the actual method of pushing is also very simple. You put your front foot on just like that, straight on the board. And the way that I teach people how to learn to push, because that is the first thing, is just learning to push, right? Is It's basically like, well, can you walk? You can walk, good. It's glad, I'm glad we covered that. <laughs> Lost my board. But it's simply like walking, because when you start out, your front foot is forward like that. And if you notice, I could just be walking like this, only with this thing under my leg. And that's how you're gonna push, right? So literally, put your front foot forward, just like you're walking, take a step. Take another step. Take another step, and eventually you're gonna be comfortable enough to put both feet on. So just like learning which way you're gonna ride, keep it super simple, it's very, very easy. Take a step, take another step, put your foot on. And once both your feet are on, then you wanna turn your feet like that. That's your foot position for cruising, it's super, super simple. So your foot's gonna be there, then you're gonna be pushing, and then you're gonna put your back foot on and turn your front foot like that. And you want it like that because your balance is gonna be like this and you're gonna be over the board, right? If, you're, if your feet are like this, well, how's your balance now? It's terrible, you're gonna fall off. So you want your feet just like you're standing, just like you would stand. You can think of like the rock bottom basics. How do you walk? How do you stand? Well, you stand like that, that's how your balance is. All right, sweet. So you got your pushing down, you know the stance to cruise, you're cruising around. Now the next thing you gotta learn is how to turn. You're gonna need to be able to turn around things. Okay, so there's two basic ways to turn on a skateboard. It doesn't really matter whether you're turning that way or turning that way, there's two different ways. The first way is you're gonna put a little bit of pressure on your back foot and lift up on the board and go like that. It's just literally, Ba ba boom, ba ba boom. We would call this a kick turn. You could kick turn that way, you could kick turn that way. I personally think that that's a little bit more difficult than the other way to turn, which is just standing on the board with your weight centered and leaning in one direction or leaning in the other direction. You see, I'm not rolling, so I'm, I'm not turning, but if I were to roll and lean there, oh, now I'm turning. I did a full circle. Or I could go like this. It's actually a little bit more difficult with the balance and everything to do that one. 
That's in my personal opinion. But it is important to know both of those. Because on the kick turn, you are gonna have to learn how to put some pressure on the back and keep your balance going so that then you can put your front foot back down and have it turn, right? But those essentially are the two ways to turn. The kick turn. Or the cruising. And what do you call this? I, I guess I always called it like a carve turn or something. Carving turn. Personally, I think the second one also looks a lot cooler because you're just rolling down the street like, oh, what? It's magic. Except for this one, you're like, it's like, oh, what? It just doesn't look as cool, right? So those are the two ways to turn. After you've got the push and you're turning and you're cruising and you've got all of these steps and you know about all the parts of the skateboard, and we've covered a lot in this video, you're gonna wanna learn how to stop. Again, like the turning, there's two ways to stop. One way is a little easier, the other way is a little harder, I guess. I guess this is what I would, how generally people think like, oh, that's how you stop on a skateboard. But personally, I think it's a little bit harder. It's like this. You drag the tail, right? I guess you would call that like a skid stop or something. It also is not like super great for your tail because it will, it will wear your tail down, as you can see. Plastic coming off the tail, right? But it definitely does stop you. And if you're going down a hill and you were going really fast, or maybe you're not going down a hill, you're just going really fast, and you try and go like this, you're probably gonna eat it. More than likely, you're gonna fall probably pretty hard. The other way to stop also is really not recommended when you're going really fast, but it's simply, you know how to push, so you're simply gonna take off your foot. If for a beginner, I would say that's probably the best way to stop. Just get comfortable pushing, also get comfortable stepping off. Now if you're cruising and you're like, oh no, I don't, I'm too uncomfortable and you try and step off, you might fall. So you wanna start out going really slow, getting your balance on the one foot, your front foot, so you can step off, step on, step off, step on, step off. You wanna get that well enough so that you can step off at any time. If you can step off at any time, then you're simply gonna be able to step off the board without falling. You won't be on the board, so you're like, oh, and fall over. Start out taking it easy, taking it slow, one foot on, step off, right? So that's basically what there is to know about stopping. If you get really good at that and you go, okay, I can step off, then you should feel comfortable enough to cruise around and roll and learn to turn both directions. And once you have that, then now you're golden. You can skate everywhere, skate down the street, skate in the park, skate that way, 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 skate over there. So this one is a 22 inch penny board and this one is the 27 inch nickel board. And like I said, it's really just personal preference of which one you guys like better. Some people will like this one and have more fun on that. Some people will like this one and have more fun on that. Obviously, if you're bigger and your feet are bigger, this one gives you more room. And if you're smaller and your feet are smaller, this one gives you less room. It's just a skinnier, shorter board. Both of them are super fun. You can do tricks on both of them. So yeah, it's just it really just comes down to a personal preference. So see which one you guys like the best and have some fun skating. So now let's do some tricks on these.
thanks to Penny for sending us the nickel and the penny. These are really fun skating. What do you guys think? Honestly, I did a couple tricks I didn't think I could do, so I was really hyped. Yeah, it's rad. So if you guys are first starting out to skate and it's your very first board and you want a cruiser, check out Penny. You guys can click the link to their website down there. In the description below, there will be a link. It will say Penny. You can go there and check it out. So yeah, again, huge thanks to Penny. You guys are rad. Thanks for the penny and the nickel. And as Australians say, cheers, mate. Skate or die. Definitely check out Skateboarding Made Simple. It's available on all these platforms, iBooks, railskateboarding.com, and Google Play. It's the most comprehensive video we've ever made, and it teaches skateboarding better than anything else out there. You won't be disappointed.